Hey, I was contemplating Luke 14, 33 tonight, just meditating on the on the severity and the clarity of that one verse. This isn't one of our questions sent into the vlog, but it was on my heart tonight. I thought I would uh, just quickly vlog on it that Jesus is saying to us, it's so simple, it's so clear, yet it's so demanding. He says to us, if you don't give up everything, you cannot be my disciple. And as I contemplate that, as I thought about that tonight, I thought what a scary and frightening thing that is. So many people think they're disciples of Christ, followers of Christ, and yet there are sections of their entire life that they won't let God touch. Christ cannot have anything to do with this. I'll do everything but that. I'll go anywhere but there. I'll, I'll, I'll go anytime except now. We've got so many restrictions that people place on this relationship with Christ. It's a country club. It's a, it's a group. It's, a, it's some kind of fellowship, but it's not discipleship of Christ. They're not followers of Christ. I, I fear for us that we unfortunately don't understand the simplicity of the Christian life. So often we think that Christ is just so, you know, pleased to have us give him any part of who we are. And yet he says clearly in Luke 14, 33, you got to give me everything. And I pray that we understand the simplicity of that and yet the difficulty of that. We just preached on that. I know we did. Uh, and yet even for statements just like that, I got uh, criticism, you know, people writing and, and, and you know, uh, th- saying they don't get it and, and being pejorative about the whole concept of the gospel. But I'm telling you, man, it, it, it's so critical that we get this. How many times are we going to to experience as, as I mean, if we have a view of it, I, I don't know if we will, but I, I can imagine standing and watching people lining up saying, Lord, Lord, did we not? And we did this, we did that. And, and, and Christ saying, depart from me. I never knew you. You practiced lawlessness. You didn't do the will of my father. You didn't do what I asked you to do. And this is not work salvation. I've said it a hundred times, but it's the clarity of Christ saying, my life for yours, your life for mine. Follow me. Give up everything. Is there something in your life and we got to look at our lives all the time and say, is there anything I wouldn't give up right now for God? Is there anything that if Christ said, you know, are, is that okay to, to move this over here? And I mean, are we going to go, well, no, God, I can't do that. I just uh, just want to remind you, I know it's it's old news to a lot of you, especially if you're part of, of Compass or you've, you know, really grappled with the gospel in your church or, uh, I mean, you've, you know these things, but as Peter said, it's a, it's an easy thing for me to write it, easy thing for me to say it, but um, the safeguard for us, we've got to make, as Peter said, our calling and election sure. And so uh, just sharing a simple verse, Luke 14, 33, it struck me again. I've, I've just let that verse mull through my head for years, uh, decades now, at least 22, 23 years. And now I am um, I'm just at the place of, of, of wanting to say it to the world again. Give up everything and follow Christ. Can't be his disciple if you're holding something back. There's a relationship, money, a house, you know, a place where you live, a career, a job. If you're not willing to lay it down, you're not, you're not his disciple. It's just not a reality. It's, uh, it's just an illusion. Luke 14, 33.